With the Avanza 2, we got a new motion controller and a new set of goggles. But you know what? With the goggles and the motion controller, you could not only fly the Avanza, you can also fly the Mini 4 Pro as well as the Air 3. Let me show you how easy it is to set that up. So prior to this, I have hooked up the Mini 4 Pro and I also did a test flight yesterday, which I will include in the end of this video. So for the sake of this demonstration, I will use the Air 3 as this one has not been prior connected to the goggles. And in this way, I can show you what the process would look like if you were trying to do the same. So to be able to perform that operation, you need a smartphone with the latest DJI Fly app installed as well as a cable that will allow you to connect the phone to the goggles and make sure that uh, your drone is updated for the latest firmware with support for the goggles and the motion controller. Otherwise it won't work and this is why this is the second attempt to shoot this video. <laughs> so let's start by getting everything powered up. So I'm just hooking up the goggles here so you can see what it is that I'm seeing inside. So just do that. It automatically shows up on the, the display here. So I get the join option here. So press live view. So now you are seeing exactly what I see inside the goggles. And you can see I can use this uh, motion controller as a pointy thing, which is one of the things that's really, really nice with the Avanza 2. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's super nice. So the next step that we need to do is you need to go under this uh, nut here on the left side, and then you need to select status. And then in the top here, you need to select switch. And you can see the three uh, yeah, drone options are available right now. And uh, the Mini 4 Pro, that has been prior connected, so we're not using that. So I need to select the DJI Air 3, and then I need to press switch. And then it's doing the switching. So you see now it has been doing the switching, and nothing happens now. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not possible to uh, yeah, get the drone to show up here because they are not prior, they are not linked prior to this. So the next step that I need to do is I need to use this cable and um, it, it will be a, a USB-C to a Lightning uh, if it's an iPhone and if it's an Android, which I used for the Mini 4 Pro, it would just be a simple USB-C to a USB-C cable. I might run into problems <laughs> because I'm sharing the view of the goggles, so let's just disconnect that because we don't need to do anything more in from in here now. So now I disconnected the goggles view and we are back to the normal uh, DJI Fly app here. Then as the next step, I need to press the connection guide. And then you can see I have the options again here. There are all the drones in here. So I just need to select the one that I want to connect. This is, would be the Air 3. So connect with RC only, connect with RC and goggles. And this is what we want. So, and it's the goggles 3. You can see there's also a lot of options here. There's the goggles 3, the Integra and the goggles 2. So there's a lot of options if you already own some of this FPV gear from Google. Uh, from Google, yeah, it's not from Google. <laughs> so it's the goggles 3 here. And then there's, uh, so yeah, this is the right one. And uh, they want to uh, show us we are gonna connect the iPhone here and we're doing that. And then we connect this. So, and then it's saying unfold the arms uh, and rear aircraft, remove the gimbal protector. Yeah, 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 we're doing all that. And you can probably not find it. That's the normal procedure. So you just need to wait until it times out here in the base. So now unable to connect to the aircraft then you select the pair option and uh, the way that you pair is that you pull down basically the battery button you should be hold that down so it says this distinct sound so now they have paired Oops. so and uh, we are getting all sorts of stuff in here and that's uh, yeah, something where connect the uh, device is not bound to the aircraft. But what you can see now, it's actually connected to the drone. So you can see now if I flip it around here, you can see it in the background here. So this uh, change unbind device, uh, now I need to do all sorts of stuff here, I don't want to do that. If you decide to proceed and not unbinding uh, your device, then you have like five attempts to try this out before you're prevented from taking off. But it's unrelated to the whole process of setting up uh, this device. And you can just, if you want to try it out, 
you can just select um, yeah, that you don't want to unbind uh, right now and have to go through the hustle of typing in your uh, DJI credentials. Now everything is hooked up. You can see this is uh, pretty simple. I can uh, put the drone down here on the floor. You can see everything that I see inside the goggles here. So I see the nice view here. Yeah, I can just remove this menu here so you can see uh, everything is I just want to show you that it works. So if I do this, you can hear the motors are actually firing up. Let's just turn them off. So the initial setup might seem a little bit complicated, but there's good news for you because uh, once you have everything hooked up, it actually works quite flawlessly. So now I have the Air 3 powered up, connected to the DJI RC2, and I'm flying around, having a good time. And then at some point I decide I want to use the goggles. I just pull those out and power them up. So right now I can see the camera view here inside the goggles. I can't use the motion controller because it actually says watch live view on the goggles. Current controller can be used to control the aircraft. So right now I'm flying the combination between these and these. So if I want to use uh, the motion controller, I need to turn off this because that can only be there can be only one and in this case it's <laughs> there can be only one that controls the aircraft now regain control and i can use the pointy pointy thing again so so the order is very simple this one beats this one if you turn on the goggles you will lose the live view on the controller because you're now watching in the goggles and then um, you can continue to control the aircraft with the rc2 if you turn off the rc2 this one will automatically take over, so now you can fly it with the motion controller. That is super, super easy um, integration, as it is, once you get the hang of it and once you understand it. Let's head outside and I will replay uh, the footage from yesterday with the Mini 4 Pro, flying it with the goggles and uh, the motion controller on a military airstrip here close by. We have lift off. So now I'm flying the Mini 4. <laughs> it's not a bound device, I don't know what that means. Now I'm flying the Mini 4 with the motion controller and the goggles. How nice is that? I wonder if I can put it in sport mode. Let's just try that. Yeah. Yes, that's possible. Nice. I guess the risk is almost the same. Hey, look at this. It's actually flying. Like the Avata too. Not as fast, but it's... Uh, Let's see, you fly over here. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> it does not stop like the Avatar, that's for sure. <laughs> uh. But it's nice that you can fly it with the motion controller 3. I don't know why how the footage looks like. But I guess that's, that's uh, yeah, I guess it says it's put in the FPV mode that's available. That's normally available in the DJI Fly app. I better take it out of sport mode, normal mode. See, hopefully the sensors are working still. I'm not going to put that onto a test here. This was just to show you that it's possible to do this. It's really, really nice. <laughs> but I would say this is a fairly convincing uh, demonstration. Then if you like semi-press the accelerator button here, then you can 
move it around so it looks in different directions. See, there is some sort of obstacle avoidance sensing inside the interface. And then I simply press the orange button. Ah, I press the accelerator, then it moves towards me. Like this. And then I can just press the orange button. Hold it down. No. Press and hold down the orange button, and then the drone will land. So. so what did you think about that? How cool was that? It actually flies and behaves like uh, the uh, Avatar when you're flying it around. It's not as fast. It, it doesn't feel as fast, that's for sure. But um, you get the same immersive feeling flying FPV with your regular Mini Drone or the Mini 4 Pro using this combination. I think that's pretty cool. Definitely extend the use cases uh, when you're checking the plunge for the Avatar 2. Also, if you're wondering how hard is it actually to get started with this Avatar setup and getting into FPV, I made a quite a comprehensive tutorial showing you how my journey was from receiving the package until I was actually flying confident on the parking lot down here in less than two batteries. And I'm taking you through every step of the process to get to that point. In case you missed that video, you'll be able to access that through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.